Barrio High was founded in 1977 by the Hapa Hamizrahi Moshav Organization. The Moshav was settled by educational and municipal services professions. Today, there are about 120 families with 500 people working in education and white collar professions. There are many different types of people living in the area. People have come from many different countries and backgrounds. There are Israelis, Canadians, South Africans, and Sephards. The children study in municipal schools in the surrounding settlement and in the city of Tzfat. The high school kids study mainly in the Shivat and Ogpanot in the area and other dormitory institutions. The settlement is located near Moshav Maron, which is close to the Maron HaGalil Regional Council. Barochai is named after the Holy Tana Rabbi Shimon Barochai who is buried here by Meron. We are now going to hear from the residents of Bar Yochai of the personal experiences of the Second Lebanon War of living under the threat of Hezbollah missiles fired from Lebanon which wrecked death and destruction on the area. The uh, day that the war broke out, we, were, uh, we had some people working on our roof and uh, around about five o'clock they said, oh, look, they're bombing Har Meron. And in fact, we saw the, uh, the bursts of the Katyushas landing on Har Meron uh, underneath the uh, Air Force observation post. And uh, everyone went down to the bomb shelters. We were six families and 30 children in a space far smaller than the size of this room, maybe about one third the size of the room we're in. Uh, every once in a while we would um, drive home and discover absolutely nobody in the Galil. It was the eeriest feeling driving back to the Galil and seeing nobody around. Just nobody in the streets, no cars, no people. We'd come to the house, we would do a few things to look after the house, feed the fish, uh, spend an hour, water the garden, and leave very quickly. Just was a, one of those, very few people stayed on the issue because it, uh, it was not safe. Um, and we knew uh, if we wanted to stay here, we would have to spend days and days in the bomb shelter. And at that time, we just didn't, know, and didn't want to do that. So uh, on Tuesday, last summer, I went to Canada to see my mother, which I do every summer. She was in Toronto. So I arrived in Toronto, Wednesday morning, the war started, and I'm reading an internet, there's a war in Israel, not only in Israel, not only in northern Israel, but they're talking about Mushav Meron, which is right across the street from where I live, and they're mentioning a family's name, that I know their name, and I was just thinking what a small world it is to arrive in Toronto, and there's a war, and they're mentioning people I know across the, on the other side of the world. Lots of Katushits around here on Har uh, Marun, which is a very significant army intelligence base on the top, and that was the target, and you can see the damage to the forest that's on the side of the mountain. that landed on the Yeshuv actually passed over my car uh, that I was driving back from the garage and landed about a hundred meters away, left an incredible hole in the, in the ground and damaged a bunch of uh, houses close by. That was scary but not too bad because nothing really happened to anybody. No people were hurt and no people were hurt on the Yeshuv at all during the uh, uh, war. Thank God, Kwai has returned to Barochai. 
The settlers are repairing all the damage caused by the Hezbollah rockets, and we are praying along with them that peace will dwell in the area and all throughout Israel.